everyone. So today I'm getting my hand tattooed. I'm so nervous. I'm just kind of holding my phone. I'm going to just use my phone to take videos because I don't have a vlog camera or anything. So I hope it's okay quality wise, but I am so nervous this morning. Oh, here's my, my pup is coming down the stairs. Yesterday was a very tumultuous experience for an internship that I am starting for a master's program that I'm in. And it was just so, so much stress going on. A lot of miscommunication, a lot of just like, I was up till 2 a.m. yesterday, filling out paperwork, doing training. And I literally am just so stressed. And I went to sleep thinking, okay, I need to just like sleep it off, get ready for the day. Because if you've gotten like a big tattoo, you'll know that you really do have to mentally prepare for it. And I feel like I am mentally just not prepared for today. And I woke up like basically having a panic attack, just like shaking and not being able to breathe properly i'm a little nauseous and i'm not worried i'm not really excited to have to drive two and a half hours down to go get my tattoo so that's just real talk i'm just trying to explain my feelings it's not always going to be like butterflies and roses like last time i went to this artist it went so easily so smoothly everything went perfectly and i feel like today is just like in shambles i just do not feel well at all not like physically but just like emotionally i just don't feel ready for this at all um so i'm really very nervous um and it doesn't help that it is my hand like i am freaking out my hair looks really weird today and i don't know why i haven't been this nervous for a tattoo in a really really long time but i think it's just a combination of yesterday just being so so stressed out and then today having to deal with not only a difficult place to tattoo it's a very painful spot but it also is very like really life-changing my life is going to change from now on because even though i have like finger tattoos this is going to be on my hand so it's a lot mentally to kind of deal with and even though i've been preparing myself for a really long time to extend my sleeve down to my hand now that it's reality and i'm about to walk in and get it done it just feels a lot different and i'm starting to kind of feel that pressure come on so i'm just trying to deal with all these emotions right now and settle myself a little bit so i don't fully freak out on my way there but luckily i have a lot of time in the car i think that's a good thing that i'll have a lot of time in the car just because I'll be able to just sit with my emotions and listen to some loud music and just release it all before I have to sit down for who knows how long this is gonna take. I feel a little better that I get to take you all with me. Um, usually I stop at Dunkin' Donuts to get some type of drink or food before I go, but I don't think I'm gonna do that just because I have to drive two and a half hours. I live in Massachusetts now and my artist is in Connecticut, so I don't want to be drinking too much on the road. Like I'll bring a drink with me but i just would rather get everything done at home and then just be on my way but oh my god my arm hurts from holding this so i'm gonna move on to the next section i'll show you guys what i'm wearing for today and then you'll probably see me heading out to the car i will say though guys like dogs are seriously the best things in the whole world this girl like knew i was stressed out this morning <laughs> and she came and just like gave me cuddles this morning because she could tell that i wasn't feeling good and even just now she like came down the stairs and wanted to spend time with me. Dogs are literally like the sweetest things in the whole world. Look at that tooth. Look at those teeth. <laughs> I didn't want to talk during this portion just because my boyfriend was sleeping in the next room, but this was the outfit I picked for today, just a sweater. And I had to top it off with a jacket because it was only eight degrees outside. It was literally terrible. All right. Guys, I am just heading out now. I thought I would just do a quick little video as I drive like I did last time because it honestly is so much easier for me to talk without looking at a camera because I just, I don't know, I have a difficult time even with eye contact with people. So being able to talk without looking at anything, like I'm just talking to myself like usual in the car, a okay with that. But anyway, I am heading out to my appointment. I just put it in my ways and there's more traffic than I anticipated. I gave myself an extra half hour in case I needed to make any stops to like use the restroom or anything or if I just wanted to like, I don't know, stop and get a snack. Cause you never know with these long drives. Usually I do when I drive down to Connecticut to visit my family and stuff, I will take a stop just to go to the restroom and stuff like that. So it doesn't look like I'll be able to make too many stops, which adds on to the stress. I don't know, I thought I gave myself enough time, you guys, this is the first time I've ever had to travel this far. Yeah, this is the first time I've had to travel this far for a tattoo in one day. It's two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back. So it's gonna be a long day. I do have my mom down there, but I'm actually not telling my family yet that I'm getting my hand tattooed. 
because I would like to tell them when it's already done so I don't have to hear anything about it. And those of you who have parents who are unsupportive of tattoos would know what I mean when I say that. It's just every single time you get a tattoo, it's not that you're like scared to tell them because they're gonna do something to you, but it's more so you just don't wanna have to deal with it, deal with the comments. I think that's what it is, like the derogatory, like negative comments that get made about it. It's just really annoying. So that's more so what I am not looking forward to. But yeah, they don't know that I'm even coming down to Connecticut. They think that I'm going to work today and I'll let them think that, so. <laughs> just to let you know, I packed two water bottles. I'll pick up this one actually because I should start drinking it. This one has um, water with liquid IV in it and my other one just has regular water just because I want to make sure I have enough hydration and I'm not getting like Gatorade or anything this time. I do have some crackers and I have some other snacks to like get me through the day but my plan is right after I get my tattoo I will go and get food somewhere in Connecticut probably at a Taco Bell because that's my favorite. I literally had that yesterday that's probably not a good idea but I will most likely just go to a Taco Bell and get some food hold me over. Guys, I'm so nervous. I literally feel like I'm talking to myself or just like to somebody on the phone in the car. This angle is probably so <laughs> just like not flattering at all. I'm just like staring up into the corner. Okay. I just had to make sure I had a mask too. For a second, I almost forgot, thought I forgot a mask. That would be terrible. Can you imagine? Because I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they still have mask mandates and stuff there, but who knows anymore? This world is so fucked. Ooh, got some liquid IV. Yeah. If you ever had liquid IV, you know how awesome it is. I do have some CBD with me though. I am going to support um, Kendall Ray with her higher love wellness. I love um, Kendall Ray and her true crime channel. CBD is awesome. And I thought I would try their gummies because they say how amazing they are, which they're not bad. They don't taste great. They're not like, you don't want to sit there and keep eating them. But I mean, it's a CBD gummy. It's not going to taste amazing. <laughs> but compared to other like CBD products, yeah, it tastes pretty good with the sugar on it. It's not bad, but yeah, they're really effective though. Really help with my nerves because I'm just generally a very, very anxious person. If you haven't gathered that yet, I'm a very anxious person when it comes to just about anything in life. I just panic a little bit. Um, anything new, anything <laughs> that's changing. Um, yeah, I struggle a lot. So CBD is super helpful. If you've never tried it before, definitely try it. I did reach out to my artist. I wanted to mention this. And I didn't have time to do all this video when I was getting ready because holy shit, I didn't realize that there's so much traffic this morning going through Connecticut, but isn't there always through Harvard? But anyway, I reached out to my artist beforehand and I was asking if I could use a numbing product on my hand. If you hear my car, by the way, like that, wah, 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 I don't know what's going on. <laughs> my car has like about a thousand lights up on the dashboard screaming at me, asking me to take it in. And I am taking it in next week. So thank you very much. I've only used like numbing stuff during the process of getting tattooed and not before it but it has helped so much he's used bactine and then something of cane what was it called again not novocaine it was light lidocaine no it, that's the stuff that's in it i'll put it down on the screen i've said it in a previous video but the name is just like not registering on my brain right now but he's used vasocaine <laughs> aha i remembered vasocaine and then um bactine he has used on me and holy crap you guys like he'll mix it in with the solution where he is wiping away he is my tattoo artist he'll like mix bactine or vasocaine into the solution that he uses to wipe my tattoo as he's tattooing so the entire time that he's working on a on a specific area it'll actively be numbing that area because it has to be applied on the skin that's already broken so you can imagine how much of a relief it is when it's constantly being numb like seriously it just feels like a slight amount of pressure once it actually is you know in effect i am not of the belief that you have to suffer in order to earn your tattoos i hate that saying i get tattoos because i like the way they look they i like having art on my body i don't like the pain that has to go into it i haven't met anybody personally i mean i've seen people online say yeah i like the pain but i've never met anybody in person who says they like the pain of a tattoo or they think that they need the pain of the tattoo to feel like they earned it. I think that's bullshit, but that's just my personal opinion. I think if there is a product that's going to make it easier for you to get through and it's going to make the piece better because you're not moving around as much, because you're able to sit better, because you're able to sit longer, it benefits both you and the tattoo artist. But that's just my personal opinion. So 
Um, Vasicane is not like super expensive, but you have to get it online. And then Bactine, however, is not something that you have to get online. It's a product that's like literally a first aid kit staple. A lot of people have Bactine because it helps with like stings, stinging sensations of like cuts and stuff like that, open wounds. And it helps with that particular process. So you can literally go, I went to Walgreens to get it and I just brought it with me because, you know, my artist said that I could bring a numbing thing if I wanted to, but he said the hand wasn't that bad. And then I started freaking out because I'm like, I've literally never heard anybody ever say that the hand was not that bad, aside from my tattoo artist. This man probably has the best pain tolerance. Oh my gosh, because I am a baby. I'm quite a baby when it comes to pain. I just, I don't do well with it. So I brought one just in case. I didn't want to do the pre-numbing because like I said, I've never used it before A and then B, I didn't want to have to deal with wrapping it and then driving down there and taking it off and having to deal with all of that. I would rather just get back to you because it's inexpensive and easy to get and then use it if I have to, which I am, I have a very hard time speaking up for myself when I need like a break or if I need something. Um, literally somebody will ask if I need something to eat and I'm starving, but I'll still say no because I just don't like to bother people. And that's just how I've always been. I don't like to inconvenience people. I don't like to bother people. I don't like to ask for things when I need them. So I usually just suffer in silence and I am hoping to not be that way. I did bring it. So hopefully if it's unbearable, I can speak up and just tell him that I need to pop it on. But I don't know. We'll see if I need it. I thought I would just mention that I do have back team with me today and I will update you if I do end up using that. But that's about it right now. I rambled, I think, as much as I want to because I'm tired of sitting in the silence. I need to drown out my thoughts with some loud music on my drive and also use my GPS because I know where I'm going, but I also, I don't know where I'm going. So <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so just wanted to give a little update on my drive because I'm about 45 minutes in now. And I noticed on my ways, it's saying my ETA is a half hour early. So my appointment's at one. But I'm gonna get there at 12:30, so I feel so much better now. I guess there just isn't as much traffic anymore because Waze uses like real-time traffic to let you know how long it's gonna be. Sorry, my hand was probably just like right up in the camera, but I'm excited that I'll be there early now. I feel a lot better. I did take a couple, two of those gummies, so I feel a little bit more chill. Guys, swear to God, like definitely use CBD. I did a lot of research beforehand too, by the way, because I know you're not supposed to use um, like aspirin or any type of like pain relieving medication because it thins your blood which could be really bad for if you're getting tattooed it just make it a lot more difficult for the artist if you're just like constantly bleeding everywhere but i didn't see any negative things about cbd in my research that i did so that's why i feel okay taking it and oh my gosh does it make a world of a difference i can finally relax a little bit i'm not stressing out as much i've just been kind of in the car listening to some music chilling out. Definitely look, feel a lot better. I just wanted to update you guys on that and let you know that I am going to get there early. So if I do need to like stop somewhere, I'm not going to be like racing against the clock. So that feels great. I do like to be early for appointments anyway. I like to be at least 10 minutes early going in so I can fill out any paperwork or if there's anything else they need from me. But yeah, just wanted to give a quick update. Everything's going good. I'll be there early and it's almost 11 now. So I have about an hour and a half left to drive. Let me know what's the farthest you have traveled for a tattoo because even though I've been to this tattoo artist before, it used to be like a 15 minute drive from my house. Um, now it is a good two and a half hours from where I live. So let me know what is the farthest you have ever traveled for a tattoo. I'd be interested to know. Just realized that part of my eyelash is coming off in the inner corner do you guys ever have that that's what i always bring with me at all times like i am never here without some eyelash glue of course duo the the green one what is this one brush on adhesive with vitamins i don't know why i like this one it dries clear and i guess it has vitamins i don't know what that means but i just like that it dries clear but i have to use this to fix the little inner corners that pop up because it happens to me all the time. 
and let that dry a little bit. But oh my gosh, guys, I'm freaking out right now. I also don't like vlogging. This is a vlog. I don't like vlogging in public because I don't like the idea of talking to myself on camera. It's kind of embarrassing, but yeah. Um, I'm so nervous. I haven't felt this way about a tattoo in a really long time. And I know it's because I had such a traumatic fucking day yesterday. Like it was just such a crazy day. And it kind of still came into today because I got a phone call from my internship site and it's just like scheduling is just a nightmare right now. So it added to the amount of stress that I am experiencing now. So I am so, so nervous. It looks a lot better. Oh my gosh. Thank the Lord. I don't know if you believe in anything. I really don't. I don't know why I said that. But I really haven't eaten much. I'll show you guys. Literally, I opened this little cheese and cheddar. I usually don't like this one. I like the one that is like toast and cheddar. It's the white one with the cheese. Anyway, those are my favorite crackers. But I had two of these as of yet and that's all I've eaten so far today I've been trying to hydrate as much as possible but and I know I have to eat more and I keep telling myself that I usually like to eat like a bagel or something like with sustenance like actually something that will help hold me over and not make me get the shakes but I literally like physically cannot eat right now I am going to try to eat a couple more of these crackers I'm gonna try because I know I need to eat something it's just really really difficult when I feel this not good but I'm gonna try to make myself feel a little better before I go in it does suck because I feel like the majority of how I'm feeling has nothing to do with the tattoo itself and just all about things going on outside of all of this in like my regular life so it, it just sucks that it's starting to seep into this day because this is already like a an anxiety inducing experience for me so having that on top of all this is like a nightmare I'm not really excited um, I'm nervous, but I'm going to try my very best to get through it. Guys, I'm going to try my very hardest, but I always see those um, TikToks like, don't be sad, just get a tattoo. So I feel like after this is done, I'll be very happy. I'll feel good. I'll feel a lot better. So I just need to get through these next couple of hours. Hey guys, I'm back in the car. It's like so hard to move my hand. I'm like, eh. it's so swollen. It's all wrapped up right now, except of course you can see a little bit coming out the top. It's literally freezing. So if you see this shaking, it's just because I'm freezing. It says it's seven degrees in here um, or out here, I should say. Um, but I am not gonna waste any time. I will probably talk a little bit more when I get home and it's warm, but I'm really hungry. I'm gonna stop and see if I could get like Taco Bell or something and then I will update you guys when I get home because I have quite a drive ahead of me. Oh my god, I'm like literally shaking. Sorry guys, I will talk to you soon when I get home. Hey everybody, I just got back from my tattoo appointment. I totally forgot to mention who the artist was. I mentioned it in my previous vlog because it's the same artist, but it is Ernesto Nave of Lost Art Gallery. He is the owner. Um, so yeah, it's in Oakville, Connecticut. That's where I got my entire arm and now my hand. Sorry, it's really hard. I'm an expressive person with my hand and I really can't use it because it's so swollen. But let me show you what it looks like. I just took the wrapping paper off because I couldn't help myself. I wanna put some recovery derm on to help heal it. But this is what it looks like. It is a peony with some shading on the outside, some leaves, some buds on the top and I am super, super happy with it. It looks really pretty with the rest of my arm and I like how this leaf is on my middle finger, like my little moon. So I'm super happy with it. Oh my God, look how cute it looks. I wish I could show you guys. I think you can visually see how swollen this is compared to, this is my normal hand. This is my hand after getting tattooed. So yeah, this is what the state of my hand is. It looks so cool though. I'm like obsessed with it. I cannot wait to see it healed because it's so much darker than the rest of my skin obviously oh by the way he did some inside here if you can see some negative space leaves because there was a space and he didn't like it so he filled it in he honestly didn't even tell me what he was doing he was like i'm just gonna do some shading here if that's cool with you and i was like yeah absolutely and he did little leaves so that is that i'm going to rinse it off really quick and then i'm just going to show you what it looks like with the recovery derm on and then i'll get into a little bit about the experience and whatnot but i want to get this done because it's super tight and dry and i need to put something on it right now i was about to hop in the shower and i totally forgot i didn't even talk about my experience today so i thought i would do that quickly i'm in my bedroom 
very casual, very casual for this vlog to end it. Um, I have to tell you guys, the hand was, I can't even believe I'm saying this, one of the easiest placements I have ever done, ever. By the way, I have my recovery derm on. So like I said, yeah, I was blown away by how easy it was. And I was really skeptical at first when my artist told me that it's really not that big of a deal. He told me like weeks ago when I asked, like I said, if I can bring some type of numbing cream in, he's like, yeah, you can, but you probably won't need it cause it's not that bad. And I literally thought he was crazy until he started. And I was like, that's it. <laughs> he literally was like, yeah, isn't it not that bad at all? And I was shocked. I was so shocked because everybody I've ever heard of who's gotten their hand tattooed said it was terrible. And I don't know if it was because I was just so anxious that the actual pain was not nearly as bad as I made it out to be, or if the CBD that I took was working, but something worked because I did not feel as much pain as almost like literally any other tattoo I've gotten. Usually when I get tattooed, I'll have to like scratch myself with the other hand or like clench my fist or like move my feet around or like just any type of sensation that will distract me from the pain that is going on where I'm getting the tattoo. And that's been consistent for pretty much any tattoo I've gotten so far, um, except for this one. This was the only tattoo I've ever gotten where I feel like I didn't need to distract myself from pain because there really wasn't much of any pain. Like, honestly, I was expecting it to get worse by my knuckles or like onto my fingers because this little guy up at top, this moon was one of the most painful tattoos I have ever gotten in my whole life. Like I put it up there with like some of my rib pieces. Like it was very, very painful that spot. I would never want to do that again. Or I'm very happy that it's a very small place because it doesn't take too much time. It literally took like less than 10 minutes to do both of them. Um, but I thought it would hurt a lot up in those areas. Um, but it really didn't and even in between my fingers he kind of went in between I don't know if you can see it's so swollen guys it looks ridiculous but um I thought it was gonna hurt but honestly it kind of felt good I know it sounds so weird but it almost felt like the vibration was like itching that area in a way I don't know it was really weird but I'm not gonna complain about it because I'm very grateful it didn't hurt because I was totally expecting to like leave crying or something because I just thought the worst of it. Um, one part that did hurt a little bit more was this outside part. It's super shaded. I didn't realize it was going to be this shaded around the outside, but it looks super dark right now, especially compared to like my other tattoos. It just looks so dark. But um, yeah, that side here, this side wasn't very pleasant. Um, and like a little bit like on this bone here, you can't even see the bone because it's so <laughs> swollen, but on that bone area that hurt also a little bit more, but again, not enough where I was like clenching my teeth. Like I usually do, like I'll usually like be freaking out and like trying to breathe through the pain. But yeah, no, my back is by far the most painful piece that I have ever worked on. I've only gone five sessions of that done. Even my artist today was like, I would much rather do my hand like 10 times before getting my back done. And I totally agree. I would rather get my hand done again than my back. So let me know if you've had this experience because I totally didn't think my hand was bad at all. Not almost any of it. Like my fingers, my knuckles, my the actual top of my hand, I didn't think it was bad at all. So I'm super, super grateful and lucky for that. So I'll insert some pictures and videos that my artist took along with his Instagram handle too. These are pictures that he took and put up on his page. Definitely give him a follow. He's an amazing artist. I'm so, so happy with the way that this came out, but just a little like logistic wise, it took three hours. I sat down at, well, my appointment, I got there at one and then we talked. He printed out some images, made some stencils and then fit it on my body. And then we actually started the tattoo at 2.20 ish. And then we finished at like 5.20. Yeah, right. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. So it took about three hours to do this piece, which wasn't bad at all. It went by so fast. I feel like that's another reason why it might not have felt that bad because my... <laughs> consciousness i guess i just felt like i wasn't fully in my body i feel like i was kind of hovering elsewhere i just was going through so much anxiety this morning and i don't know it went by so fast and i wasn't listening to music there was like three different musics going on because there was an artist tattooing an artist tattooing and then somebody drawing like a apprentice drawing and each of them were playing different music and my artist was not playing anything because there was just so much music going on so usually in that case i would wear headphones 
but I didn't really feel like I needed to like drown out any pain. I just kind of sat there and I don't know, my, my brain, I feel like my consciousness left my body a little bit. I was just kind of chilling. I don't remember too much of sitting there because I just kind of zoned out and just sat there. I think that's another reason why I didn't really feel like it hurt that bad. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling now because I'm very tired. I woke up early and I drove a lot and I'm literally about to go in the shower. I almost went in the shower before giving another update because I forgot again, but I wanted to come on at least one more time and let you guys know how it went. So yeah, bottom line, my hand was easy for me. I don't know why. I am very grateful that it was though. And I'm very happy that my hand is done, which means my arm is now done. And I'm basically done getting tattooed for a while because it's expensive. So I'm going to take a little break. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on a little vlog with me again to my tattoo appointment to get my hand done, my job stopper. I'm very flattered that I have my first real job stopper now. I look like a whole mess now. It's been such a long day. If you've been tattooed, you know how it is. You just feel so tired by the time you get home. You just want to get showered, go to sleep. I'll update you guys in the description box if there are any notable things as I am healing it, if there are any issues, um, because I don't think I'm going to make another video about this. Maybe I'll make a healed tattoo video if you would be interested in seeing how it heals or how it healed and see the rest of my arm. But I do already have a video up on my channel of the rest of my arm. So I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. If I do, you'll see it on my channel. If not, I just decided not to do it. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed seeing my vlog, getting my hand done, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.